Now recently I covered the uh, using a daily chart and candlesticks to figure out what's going to happen. Uh, you still need to use the overnight session. So this is the uh, overnight session. I made a mistake here. It's the 10th of uh, November between these dotted lines and you can see the market went down actually opened uh, lower eventually but it tested a lower uh, uh, boundary line down here three times and along the way it created divergences so that tells you this is going to be a strong up day and that's exactly what this day turned out to be it was one of the biggest updates we've had for a long time I think about 300 points but uh, there are several things that you could do is that you could get in right at the open with this strong of a signal because you know it's going to go up and test these overnight highs and then get out on that overnight high which there was a pesavento bar there and this was signal one okay so you get in at uh, 1088.50 and you get out at 1090.50 you got your two points before you know what's going on. now here's what happened after you got out at this first peak and I'm sure there was a pesavento bar there and there's a pesavento bar at the next red arrow and then finally you get one at the last red arrow so those bars move all right and if you got out at the second bar you picked up another two points okay signal two for five points and then uh, the last one was a peak up here you watch the ergodics because they turn purple and then back to white and they never cross their yellow line now you might have gotten out on this particular spot but see how this is a decreasing rise on the ergodic even though the ever increasing rise on the price and that's a big signal to tell you the trend is running out of gas so you get out there you maybe picked up five points now you may take this retracement if you want if you're more than uh, two points away two to three points away from the moving average in this case 94 50 to 92 I prefer when you got a strong expanding up pattern not to take that and wait until I see something change purple turns to white starts to cross its yellow line I'll get back in long here with a target at the previous peak that's from 1091 to 1093 and a half another two and a half points so keep that in mind and you can see how the ergodic changes over and the place to finally get out is when it does cross this moving average and you have that other red line now here's another overnight session closed here opened at the uh, the lower low was at the green arrow and then you had a divergence at the top in the morning as the market drifted lower it's still going to open higher but the professionals are already selling off there and you can see that divergences overnight work as well as during the day Now in this case, uh, the market continues to drift lower. There was not a lot that I could do at this point to trade. I didn't really get a signal. This is still drifting down. This is red. The long-term ergodic is red. So I'm going to stay here until I get a real strong Pesavento single with numbers above and below coming up. And I get a color change and a cross in the moving average. Now this is right at the uh, moving average of the 89, not necessarily you know a good spot to get in but if you got in at this big long bar here right about the the uh, the uh, pivot point uh, that's not a bad entry now where's your target well number one it's the bottom of the previous low and number two it's this previous high now the market will generally run two to three points before you get some profit taking coming in from the professional program traders so that's what we did you get out once and then you would have run all the way up here there's a total eight points in that area now the final part of this trade was a very strong divergence uh, going down with the arrow so you just get in and here was another six point run if you wanted to take it so I hope this helped uh, this is Bill McCready for futures trading secrets.com